Hey guys, I would like to proudly present the winner of the World Class Performance Core, the all new 2017 Audi OR8 V10 Plus. The Audi OR8 is a mid engine, two seater supercore which uses Audi's trademark Quattro permanent all wheel drive system. It was introduced by the German core manufacturer Audi back in 2006, utilizing an engine and chassis derived directly from the OR8 LMS race core. The all-new Audi R8 boldly goes where no car has gone before, boasting a powerful 540 horsepower V10 or the 610 horsepower V10 Plus. It's no wonder the Audi R8 has won the World Performance Core Award. The version we have here today, of course, is the 610 horsepower model. This supercar was built for speed with a high revving naturally aspirated 5.2 liter V10 engine. Add to that the exceptional traction of an exclusive quattro all-wheel drive system and advanced ASF multi-material construction and it's clear the R8 has a mission to make every drive a thrilling one. So here's the key out of the car. On there we have the lock, unlock, trunk release and the panic button in red. Or 8 logo on the back and you can also press this button to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock the car, start it up and let you listen to the exhaust sound. The OR8 of course come equipped with the smart keyless access entry so all you have to do is leave the keys in your pocket or purse. There's the door handle. To unlock or lock simply touch right there or you can use the manual key and insert it right here. Here's a quick look to interior. Interior is all leather with diamond stitching and Alcantara. To start the engine, push your foot down the brake and press the start button located right here in red. The new Audi R8 again features the 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10 engine. The V10 engine pushes out 610 horsepower and 413 pound foot of torque. It is a 7 speed S Tronic transmission with manual shift paddles mounted behind the steering wheel. The new R8 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 3.2 seconds and with a top speed of 205 miles per hour. As for fuel economy, the R8 gets 15 miles per gallon in the city. 22 miles per gallon on the highway and 17 miles per gallon combined which is not bad at all for a super sports car and as you can see here the surrounding engine covers are all carbon fiber looks really attractive the new R8 also features the auto start and stop efficiency system to improve gas mileage Up front, there's the specifically designed rain sensing intermittent windshield wiper with adjustable speed. Moving down, we have the iconic Audi R8 single frame grille with the Audi logo right on top in the center. There's also the Quattro badge on the left hand side. For enhanced visibility, Audi is known for its beautifully designed full LED headlights, which includes LED daytime running lights, LED low and high beam, and LED turn signal lights. This gives Audi its unmistakably appearance. In addition to that, the R8 headlights are uniquely designed as one of a kind. Overall, Audi did a magnificent job with the new R8 face. On the lower side here, as you can see, there is also a carbon fiber finish. Here's a closer look of the headlight. Very uniquely designed. Moving over to the side, there's the corner reflector light, V10 batch which can be found on both sides, carbon fiber side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light, power adjustable feature, power folding, auto dimming and heated function. Looks extremely sporty. Here's a quick look to the lower side. As you can see just the side view mirror itself is loaded with features. This specific model comes with the optional 20 inch 10 spoke wide design forged wheels with titanium finish and summer tires. The front tires are 245 30 and the rear is 305 30 summer tires. 
Behind the wheels, we have the four-wheel anti-lock braking system with electronic stability control and brake assist. On the side, as you can see, there's the huge carbon fiber air vents, which also make the Audi R8 extremely aggressive in appearance. All four wheels are equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. Here's a quick look at the rear wheel. And as you notice, the rear wheel is a lot bigger and wider than the front. To the back, there's the middle LED brake light strip on the rear windshield. And as you can see through the engine there, looks extremely aggressive again. There are air vents on all three sides to cool down the engine as you can see. also really add to the attractiveness of the car. Here's the attractive full carbon fiber and sporty spoiler which looks extremely aggressive. Here's a full view of the back. Also additional air vent here. On both sides are the eye-catching LED tail lamps with LED brake light and dynamic LED turn signal light. Behind there as you can see is your exhaust system. Parking assists are also integrated into the rear bumper. Or 8 badge there, Audi logo. Rear view camera which automatically turns on when you put the car into reverse. And here's a closer detailed look at the rear tail lamp. Again also specifically designed for the Audi R8 only. At the bottom there's the huge carbon fiber rear diffuser and the sport quad triple exhaust tips. extremely sporty and aggressive over here to the right side here's your gas cap with the R8 lettering of course simply push in to open and of course as you already know the Audi R8 requires premium unleaded gasoline Here's to show you a quick view of the top. Now let's go ahead and see what we have inside the trunk. Now the trunk is in the front on this vehicle. Fairly reasonable amount of space for a uh, super sports car. We have all your um, tools in there, trunk lighting, and a 12 volt car charger outlet. Net storage compartment. Windshield washer refilled there. Now let's see what we have on the driver's side door. As you can see the door is frameless. Air vent. Side finish carbon fiber. Door handle. Lock and unlock button. Trunk release button. Side view mirror control. And power window control side door compartment and as you can see here we have the white stitching Audi R8 door sealed also finished in carbon fiber brake and gas pedals here's the 
Here's your headlamps control. Power front seats control. Sports seat with diamond stitching. Here's a closer detail look. Sporty and luxurious at the same time. You also have this thing right here in which you can insert the seat belt through there to hold it in place. But let's go ahead and leave it out since we'll be folding the seat down just a little bit. Now just pull this out to fold down the seat. And behind the driver's seat we have uh, your storage compartment. This piece here is removable entirely. You have the hook on top. And in the center we have your uh, CD slot with two SD cord slot and a SIMS cord slot. I'll show you a better view of it later. And we're back in the driver's seat. Here we have the three spoke flat bottom steering wheel. Looks and feel extremely sporty. Over here we have the different view setting for the digital dash right here. And I'll show you more detail in just a bit. Different driving mode select. You can simply twist the knob to adjust. Audi logo in the middle with the horn. Over here we have your voice command, Bluetooth phone answering option, and audio volume control. Engine start and stop button. Exhaust tip control. Gear shift paddle, one on each side. Windshield wiper control. Odometer reset button. And I really like the carbon fiber package here. Down there, all the way to the back, you have this lever. Pull this down. This will allow you to control the steering wheel placement. And simply push it back up to lock the steering wheel in place. Headlamps control. Headlight washer here. Driver's sun visor. With a small piece of mirror there. Moving over to the middle, we have two additional air vents. Again, the carbon fiber trim. Three twistable knobs for climate control. Both front seats are ventilated. And way down there, we have your 12 volt core charge outlet, two USB input, and an auxiliary input. You can cover the entire thing there. Next, we have your traction control, has a light and parking assist control. Carbon finish throughout, as you can see. There's a slot for you to put the key fob. Audio volume control and simply push over to the right or left to change channel or songs. Here's a gear shift box to control, push a button on the side, up for reverse, down for drive, over for sport, and simply press the button P here to put the car back into park. And here is your main control center. This knob is multi directional. And you can then press down to select. Menu setting on the side. This switch simply push up or down to change the different views to navigation or radio or media. Here's your power parking brake. A 
Let's see what we have here in the middle. Just two cup holders. There is no middle armrest compartment. Well, I guess you can say this is a middle armrest compartment, but for two cup holders. Here's a closer look. CD slot, two SD card, and a SIM card slot. Everything you see over there, you have on the driver's side. Quattro batch. Glove box compartment. And here's a complete view of the dash. Moving on up, we have the adjustable rear view mirror. We have the universal garage door opener on top. LED lighting. Now the lights here are touch sensitive. Simply press once to turn on or off. Here's a closer look at the top. Same diamond stitching design as the seats. Looks very classic. Here's a closer look at the digital dash. As you can see there, you can control the different uh, view settings. Let's go ahead and show you a quick view of every little different settings and menu. There's the navigation view on the side. You can simply click this view button to uh, zoom in on the map. As you can see there, very nice and minimize there you can also zoom in and out on the map by twisting the knob very sensitive and you can uh, instead of twisting it just like I just mentioned just now you can also use the touchpad on top of here you can just zoom in and out just like that by pinching it just like the iPhone now let's take a quick look at what we have on the passenger side. Exactly same style design with Bang Allison speakers. Power front seat control. And surprisingly I feel very comfortable sitting in the seat here. Plenty of leg space. Quick look over the driver's side there. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching and as always, make sure to leave me comments and feedback as to what you think about this car below. For more future car reviews, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and remember to give our videos a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out our official Facebook page, my vlog channel for everyday activity. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.